Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom bookshelf. So as you can see, here's the two issues of my magazine. The second one I'm currently working on, the first one is out. You can check it out on my website, cmykarts.com. Um, pretty much, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom bookshelf bookshelf excuse me <laughs> bookshelf um it looks pretty you know it looks unique it's, it's different um as you can see here i put um where is it i put a little effect where you guys can add some lights or something like that so as you can see it you know some lights underneath the bookshelf or something you know you could turn those off or on um so i'm going to give you like this cool example of how to create your own custom bookshelf if you are creating your own custom magazines or you know things like that if you want to actually put some icons or you know making a graphic for somebody or whatever and, and they need a bookshelf or something like that i don't know uh, i don't know i thought it was cool i want to show you guys how to make it so anyway start off with a new document uh for this one i'm going to start off with an eight by ten or eight and a half by eleven something like that you know like a full uh, eight and a half by eleven u.s paper press ok and um, you want to start off with a black background so I'm gonna uh, unlock that layer and, and press control I to inverse that now I'm gonna double click and go into my layer style now to download the wooden um, patterns you can just uh, visit the link in the video description of this video to download them it'll eventually link you up to my website to actually really download them but yeah anyway so um so i have my black background i'm gonna go to pattern overlay and then i'm gonna select a wooden pattern so you can select any wooden pattern from the download that i've gave you guys so it's already set to 100 on a scale you want to increase that to maybe 400 or something like that because these are you know we work on a larger background a larger image size so you know if it was like a regular pixel size image you know 100 would probably be better but you know you're working on the 8x10 so it's gonna you're gonna know, have to scale it up a little bit so as you can see these are different wooden patterns I'm not gonna go through all of them so I'm gonna select this nice uh, mahogany type color um, uh, wooden pattern and it's set at 50 on um, 555 um, you can probably scale it down if you want or whatever the case is and um, you're pretty much done. You can leave it like that. That's going to be your, your your primary background. And um, after that, you're going to want to add some own custom uh, bookshelves. You want to actually add the shelves. So how I like to do it is I like to bring up my guides. So hit on Window. Um, go to... I'm sorry. Go to View. And go to Show. And go to Guides. Uh, guides is somewhere over here. Um, if anything, just hit the control and hit the quotation button, I mean, the uh, colon button, and that'll bring up your guides. So, I don't have any guides currently, so anyway, I'm going to draw out one. And I like to do every three inches, and bring that, bring down a guide, so one at three inches, one at six inches, and one at, uh, I believe at ten, I mean nine. Just like that. And so there's our guide, so from there, I'm going to select... Um, the line tool we're at the top the little line tool and I want the weight the width of those lines to be 50 and after I've done that I'm gonna hold shift and just bring across my line until it reaches extending out both sides of the background so that way we have enough uh, line to work with and I'm just gonna drag it this line down until it touches the guide that I drew out okay so from there I'm going to double click and I'm going to give this a layer style. Pretty much it's going to be like another wooden pattern on top of it but with a different wooden pattern. And select my pattern overlay. And I'm going to give it something light, you know, something like that. And when I'm done, I'm going to give it a drop shadow. Now the drop shadow, I'm going to make sure that I turn off the global light because it's going to interfere with the next few steps I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to increase the size. So as you can see, the size, it darkens a little bit, but you can't really see it. Maybe you might want to increase the opacity. And then increase the distance. Well, actually, I'm going to leave the distance at 15. And then I'm going to... Uh, you can actually move with your um, arrow the... Uh, you know the drop shadow to where you want and that looks perfect to me maybe you might uh, give it a stroke to kind of outline the borders of the shelf and maybe five is good you know five is good for me alright cool so next what we're gonna do is hit the control J button on the key keyboard about two times 
that's gonna bring out two shelves for us and I'm gonna hold shift and bring it down and it's gonna select it's gonna go right on top of the second guide and do the same thing hold shift and then bring it down so now we have bookshelves as you can see there's our bookshelves and there's our background so next what we're gonna do is uh, add some content to us so I'm gonna go ahead and bring over my books that I have from okay you don't want to see that yet uh, actually that's the uh, tool of the trade that's gonna be in the magazine uh, the second magazine so you guys got a little sneak peek um, so alright so here's my my magazines I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over to my bookshelf and paste it in there and do the same thing go get my other book and um, go ahead and drag that into my document and paste it in there cool so after I have my documents in there my my books um, you guys can find books um, images on Google or something like that so I have my images and I might want to draw over a guide so every um, two and a half inches or something like that I make a guide so that way um, uh, I make a, uh, a new bookshelf um, uh, what you call it you know wherever you're gonna put your books at like that so you might wanna zoom in that okay cool anyway you kinda get the idea using guides kinda help you um, align your books and everything like that so I'm just gonna place my books accordingly and I might even just put two of them in the center like that and um, what I did was I gave him a drop shadow so um, you guys should give your books a drop shadow if it doesn't have one already it kinda makes it give a little depth okay so um, yeah you wanna give it a drop shadow and a stroke so that way it kinda outlines the actual magazine and give it more of a magazine feeling that there's something on the shelf and um, like I said to add like a effect to it like um, lights and stuff like that you wanna go ahead and create a new layer and use your brushes and, and select like a soft edge brush the, the softness I mean the hardness is at zero and um, I would say the size will be at 150 something like that depending on like I said depending on your the size or whatever like that so I'm gonna do 200 probably 200 is good and I'm just every in the middle of these bookcases I'm just gonna go ahead and place a a light so as you can see there's the lights and the lights is gonna uh, be like you know if there was a LED light on the actual bookshelf so I'm gonna place these behind you know all of the the lights have to be behind every graphic that you that you make so that way it gives the, the realistic look that there's actual lights underneath it okay yeah um so after you've done that um you have your um your lights so I'm just gonna take off my guides I'm gonna go ahead and um, draw some text this text is um, gonna be books like this that would be books like this and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and resize that to uh, let's say about 120 like that and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a custom layer style I already gone ahead and copied the layer style so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it paste it in there just like that and I'm gonna go and drop my book sign down there and do the same thing with new some new text I'm gonna put in um, cmykarts.com where you guys should go ahead and visit because it's an awesome website and I'll be uploading more stuff very soon alright so I'm gonna hit that confirm button and also paste in that layer style that I created and um, you're pretty much done you guys can stop watching now um, <laughs> um, you guys can, uh, you know, check this, check more stuff out on my website, cmrkarts.com. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is pretty much, this is like the only video on YouTube that'll show you how to make custom bookshelves in Photoshop. And um, I haven't seen it on on YouTube at all. So this should be the exclusive look on how to create bookshelves in Photoshop. So if you guys enjoy, please visit my website, cmrkarts.com. Remember, guys, be creative. All right, peace.